So as I get ready to leave for my uh, dive trip and de expedition in the Bahamas next week, um, I got some big news. This old bus is in the wind. My next door neighbor bought it, and uh, and I've got a new diesel pusher that'll be here uh, when I get back. So for the last seven years, I've been uh, relying on this old girl here to get me around and I've been doing a lot of operating out of this thing. It has been a very, very good coach for me. I uh, did a lot of, a lot of little modifications to kind of hit the, to uh, fit the ham radio hobby the way I wanted to do it. But um, we've always dreamed about going bigger and better. And uh, this week, we signed papers for a uh, for a new coach. Well, not exactly new, but uh, definitely new to us. So we're uh, we're moving up from this 30 foot uh, pinnacle here to a uh, to a 40 foot diesel pusher, and this bus is it's the shit because I'm moving up to a new coach, and I sold this one to my next door neighbor. He decided. He wants to take up the ham radio hobby. So a lot of the modifications that I've got in this one here, I'm gonna leave it in. A lot of, uh, a lot of power options, a lot of stuff. I've got, uh, I've got a VHF, UHF antenna that I mounted up there. That's all going to him because I'm gonna help him out. He's gonna study up for his uh, technician license here and, uh, and get himself into the ham radio hobby. So where does that leave me? Well, I basically got to start all over. Now, I've had this coach here for seven years. And because I've had it for seven years, a lot of the stuff that I did for ham radio and a lot of the modifications that I did to this coach, I had done before I started this channel. So I decided that this time, I'm taking you guys on my ride uh, modifying this, uh, modifying my brand new coach. I don't take delivery of the thing until I get back from, uh, from my dive trip slash de expedition that I'm leaving on next week. So we'll get started on that in a couple of weeks. But I've got some ideas for antennas and power and some other stuff. It's just a matter of the logistics on how to get it into the coach, how to make it look real factory, because that's one thing that, uh, that my wife made me promise was nothing was going to look hacked or ham radio-ish. It's all gotta look on the up and up, like it came from the factory. So it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take a lot of doing, but I think it's going to be fun, and I'm going to invite you guys on my journey to, uh, to build my new portable ham shack. I've been thinking a lot about how I'm going to do all this stuff, and, uh, and a few new things that I'm thinking about. One of them is, uh, is this. It looks pretty simple. It's called uh, a CQ Quick Connect. And this is going to be, I think this may end up being my new, uh, my new antenna mount on the bus. Here's how it works. Okay, you pull this safety pin out. You can either clamp this onto something or you could take this, uh, uh, you could take this piece here and we'll somehow glue this in or we'll make this work. But anyway, you stick your antenna pole, say right in here, in this. And uh, real easy here, you stick it on this, click it in, and it is locked in there. 
So I'm trying to figure out, do I want to put that on the ladder or figure out a way to, uh, to mount this to the side of my new bus? But it does come out real, real easy. Man, once it's in there, pull that, uh, pull that release and your, and your entire uh, mast can come off that quick. The guys over at Ironworks Design, they sent this to me. And uh, I think this actually could be the cool, one of the cool things uh, to, make a, uh, to make a great little antenna mount. All right, guys, so this time it has been a very, very short show. I uh, just wanted to fill you in because I am getting ready to, uh, to take off. I've got a lot of packing to do. Got a lot of stuff going on here uh, to get ready to go to the Bahamas. I'll be operating on uh, San Salvador Island. I'll bet, uh, bet you haven't made a contact there. Go check. It'll be real limited operation because, uh, you know, mainly I am there to go scuba diving. So that's going to be the main focus of my trip. It is going to be fun. It's going to be scuba diving. We'll be doing a little bit of operating there uh, with my buddy Ty uh, W6TJR. I'll be operating as Charlie 6 Alpha Kilo Alpha uh, from San Salvador Island. So look for us 20 meters, maybe some 40 meters there. We're going to bring the KX3 and a few things. It'll be mainly QRP for this trip uh, because most of the stuff that's going with me is all uh, video gear for underwater photography. Oh, yeah. And I will be doing an underwater video and a kind of a trip video. It'll be more like a trip vlog with... Uh, ham radio, scuba diving, uh, sightseeing stuff, I don't know, whatever. Hey, uh, if you like this video, as always, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button right now, somewhere in there. And also, please consider me on Patreon. Help me pay the bills to bring you this show on a continuous basis. Anyway, guys, again, for the very last time in the pinnacle, and uh, we'll be starting up uh, a whole new thing on uh, setting up your motorhome as a ham station in uh, future episodes. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.